we were rushing around today trying to get as many interviews as possible with key people and I bumped into Merv. Hello Merv. Hi, how and are you doing? We just discovered that we know someone. We, we do? Have, oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. So that's good, isn't it? That's good yeah. stuff, yeah. So, um, right, you are the uh, production manager. Yeah, I'm production for this, manager for this, for this event. Yeah. How did you get involved in it? Because you're, you're in the Rotary. Yeah. And you live in Farnborough, so it's on your doorstep. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, well, I deal well. I mean, originally when this event started in uh, 2000, um, they interviewed three production managers and I was at that time doing work for the council. Uh, I got the job as a, as a local guy and, and what I've been doing. Uh, and then uh, probably about, I don't know, three months later I'll end up being roped into, into a farm of a rotary and I've been there 20 years now. So, so yeah, but um, it's, no, it's good and, and the rotary do do, do a lot. Um, as a, a boys have said, you know, we raised 85,000 two years ago for the hospice yeah. uh, on a two day event. And um, each, fingers, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. The weather is going well, and we're going to be good. Um, so we're slightly down on tickets this year, but I think that was due to the rain. We had a lot. Of yeah, I think people are waiting for the last minute to come, so you may see some on the, in the box office on the day yeah. and that side. So. Yeah. Um, so with the event, you so you've organised like the big the stage and all the generators. You can see just being unloaded. Oh, this yeah. is all down to you. Yeah. I mean, that, that, we have a committee of ten people, eight people. I deal with all the production, the bands, the riders for the bands, the technicalities of how it's going to work and move. We have what we call rolling risers with the drum kits on, but we have to change everybody around. So all that's down to me. And to make the show run smoothly, we can't have long gaps or anything like that. So you have your, we have the bands. So on stage, you're going to have the bands. Yep. You're going to have your techni techies yep. as well. Yep. Uh, and obviously you will be roaming around as well, somewhere or other. Yep. Uh, all in control with by I've had two-way headsets and, and things like that, making sure that everything is a well-run machine. Yeah, I'm mostly on stage when we do changeovers, um, like the interval, then we make sure that the, the drum kit, two drum kits are not being used. It, it's pushed behind us. We have a curtain, a false curtain, yep. that goes behind there, and then the band that's headlining will come forward. And the same on Sunday, because the Motown show starts off, then um, we have the interval, in which time we push, um, we, we bring in the hot chocolate set up, they play and then we're, we're not talking cups of hot chocolate we're sorry no now. absolutely you should put that we're <laughs> just talking... grill out the hot chocolate guys there you go <laughs> <laughs> we're talking the original hot chocolate band yeah 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 um and then to, to they are on for 40 minutes and then we quickly have to lose them and and happen you know don't people get bored and don't like to obviously sit around so yeah so uh, i mean but they've got a professional production company in um the professional stage so all intents and purposes this is a very very professional setup yeah we're not talking just a, a small marquee with a couple of local bands this is no huge. no this has been this has been building up in fact the first year we did it and um, one of our dear rotarians um, who's not here now jeremy kyle uh, he put a uh, health and safety book together and for a man a, a man who was never involved in the music business it was it was really good all to do with can do's can't do's yeah and that started us off and we built up from that like any event we are answerable to the council to health and safety so well this is it you've got to pass everything past the council yeah uh, do they come down and inspect the site before it actually happens or is they, it they don't expect but we have people who work are in rotary as well who are on the council and they you know wouldn't let us do anything that we wouldn't and then because the event's been running so long now it's the same procedure every year maybe a slight tweak in here and there um, but, but I mean, that's the other good thing about the rotary obviously it is a big networking organization yeah so so if you don't know, if you haven't got anyone, you know someone who's, who's connected, who's connected yeah. a, along the way, so yeah. that they, you know, you can just pull in, pull in help. I was yeah. going to say favours there, but you, it's all well, done. Well, we do because the generator company and um, the fencing company have been here all the time, and they do. I know what their prices are normally, so they they, they drop a deal. We, my company, does sound and lighting. Um, we do it cheaper. I don't ask my lad to do it cheaper, but we, as a me as a company, we do it a lot cheaper, probably fifth of the cost of what it would normally be you know um, because it all goes back to Willis Tucker. It is such a good cause yeah so uh, yeah. and you are part of this big organisation so yeah. you know which is um, which is absolutely fabulous so um, without name dropping too much who, who's, who's, who's the biggest star that you've ever worked with? Uh, I'm going back quite a few years and I would say one of the biggest because I've, I've done well I've got Jesse J coming up at Ascot next year, so that's oh, you know, so that's a, <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, it's not. He's already mentioned JLS as well. Yeah, well, yeah. so. <laughs> we're well, we'll But um, quite a few years ago, we did um, Wembley, and again we did a follow-up show um, in uh, Dockland when Dockland was going. Uh, let's into rock and roll. So uh, Little Richard um, and Jerry Lee Lewis, who were real, real big stars. You know, 
yeah. um, you know, they're legends, they're, they are legends. But then I look after Dion Warwick, <coughs> and when she comes into the country as a, a tour manager, um, I say shaking Stevens because everybody goes, oh, is, is he still alive? But he's, he's had the most hits in the 80s, and he's still working. We, we tour a lot in Europe um, and abroad, and uh, uh, in Europe, I mean, not so much this country, he sells out arenas. It's amazing, doesn't the stars go over to Germany? I mean, Susie Quattro's big in Germany as yes, well. Yes. Swaddy Waddy, big in Germany. Yeah. It seems to be that there's this big German um, you know, influx of 80s, 70s and 80s artists, rock and roll artists. Yep, yeah, and the same with Poland. We do a lot in Poland, and we just we came back last October to Sri Lanka with Shaky, 7,000 indoor arena. Um, and, you know, people joke about Shaky, lovely guy, but you know, he, he pulls them in abroad. I mean, here we would probably play at 3,000 capacity. That's, that's his perhaps, thing. perhaps you need to get him in next year. Well, that's or been said, two but years. I think it's out of our price range. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we could stand here and we could talk about music we could. all day. We could, yeah. But we haven't got time for that. Thank no. you very, very much, Pleasure. Murph. Pleasure. And I hope the event is a fabulous... Well, I know the event's going to be a fabulous success. Mm. You need to buy tickets, OK? Yeah, come on. £25 or £35 on the day? Yeah, get in early, £25. You can buy them up until Friday night at £25. If you come on the day, they're going to cost you another tenner. So, you know, get in and get your tickets early. Get your tickets early, bring a picnic along. Yep. Uh, if you don't want to bring a picnic, there is food on There's sale. There's food here. on site. And remember, it's a good cause. Phyllis Tuckwell, you know, it, it, the money we give to them doesn't last them long, and the government only give them 17% to run a hospice of 18 beds. So, just that is a, it's a really good cause. And if you ever get a chance to go there, go there because... They're uh, lovely people and they do a great job. Yeah, and I'm sure you all know people who have been touched by Phyllis Tuckwell in some way. Yeah, so absolutely. Thank anyway, you. Anyway, nice to meet you. Yes, thank okay, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.